Hello, my name is Khalil, and today we're gonna do an application about real-time visualization in SmartWorks IoT platform from Panopticon Altair. In order to do this application, you need to build your system architecture in the SmartWorks IoT platform. In my example, I just created sensors category and created weather things as uh, as a weather sensors, and I also created properties as temperature. And as you're seeing here. You can give uh, the same name to different things and for sure the UID would be different. Next, we'll go to real-time visualization and create uh, new workbooks. So create new workbooks. And I'm going to just give it the name workbook. And we'll add new data table. And for the data source, we'll choose from file URL the SmartWorks IoT where you'll be able to receive the data from your properties. And in order to complete the client ID and the client secret, you need to generate or create an application. First of all, apps are resources with a set of credentials that allow to use the API. When we create an app, we need to choose the scopes to configure which areas of SmartWorks society it has access to, and the type, in our case, which is going to be client credentials. We also support apps type authorization code to authenticate the users of a web or mobile application that has been built using SmartWorks IoT. So we'll go to create a new application. I'm going to call it sensors. You can call it whatever you want. For these scopes, we need just think or data, but we'll choose all the scopes here. The type would be client credentials in my example. Create the app. And don't forget to give it policies. Just create hashtag and save. In order to generate a client secret, just reset the client secret code. And this is your password. So we'll copy the client ID and paste it here. We'll copy the client secret and paste it here. For the grant type, it would be client credentials. And the scopes, I'm going to just use thing. And for the URL here, we need to go to the documentation. And access API documentation, anything DB. And we need to go to, and we need to go to the things status. That is the URL that we need. That's basically the URL. Also, we need the host name, which is from API Inspector. So, it would be this. It would be this one. Okay, so space, spaces. So, my space name is Workshop. My categories are sensors. And now we can generate columns. And this is what we're going to need, is the properties temperature. So just going to refresh, preview, save. And as you're seeing here, we have the two weather stations with a different UID. And we have two different temperature value. So we're going to change the temperature value from here. I'm going to put just 10. and refresh from here and change it to 10. Also the same thing if I'm gonna change this zero to five and it would change it to five. Just refresh preview and five and 10. So I'm gonna save, go back, select the area where you wanna create a graph and I'm gonna choose bar. I'm gonna drag and drop the UID to items and drag and drop the properties temperature to regreg and there is our values just we're gonna save and we can preview and now we will try to send some data from the dashboard to the anything to be and update the data we have so we click on edit and we create a new data table and now we'll choose from the file url the smartworks iot write and we'll copy and paste the same app credentials so I'm going to copy, 
paste the client ID, copy the client secret and paste it here. The grant would be would be the same client credentials scope. I'm gonna use also thing. And for the URL, we'll need the documentation. So go to anything DB. And I want to update the properties data, so I'm going to need this. I need to copy it and paste it here. And we need to copy and paste also the host name. So it will be here. We need to change the space to our space name, which is work. Shop the categories to sensors, sensors, and the thing ID we should copy it from this page and paste it here. My properties is temperature, and in the documentation, it's it's a put method. So this is for the request body, so I need to remove it from here and paste it in the URL. And the request body, we need to create a line of codes like this one. So I'm gonna say like temperature and uh, my temperature value would be, uh, would be here. So I'm gonna refresh, then I came back to my file. So it's updated here. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second sensor where I'm gonna copy the UID and just duplicate the data table and just update it. Paste and save. We need to go back and same thing we did it with the graphs. We need to create two buttons the first go to control, a button, set parameter as update data from the data table two. So if I'm gonna click here, it would be, it would update the first, I'm gonna type zero here. It would update the first sensor. So now it's zero and I'm gonna click. Yes, would be updated. And for the second, I'm gonna click zero here, second sensor, and I'm gonna write a new other button, data update, and we're gonna link it to the data table. So I'm gonna save, and the second one, the second sensor would be updated. So now we will parameterize the temperature value that means we would be able to adjust the temperature value we want. So we need to add a parameter. I'm gonna call it temp and type would be numeric and I will add the default value which, should, which is zero. And here I need to use my variable or my parameter which is temp. I need to save and come back to the dashboard. So I need to click on my button and I have data table two, which is the data table where I added my new parameter and I need to enable the input and select my parameter here, save. And now I'm able to adjust the variable here. So I will just type six, update data and refresh. And here is my value, I will type 10, update data and I will receive 10. And same thing with the other temperature sensor. And that's how you can control and visualize your data using SmartWorks IoT platform and real-time visualization.